so so far our esper list was really well for us uh, we got some lucky breaks with the stabilization um, so far with the gates that could honestly just felt like our deck was better than their deck um, there's really no way to say it other than it was just kind of like a manhandling of the opponent the entire time okay so they are not on gates I like that dude's name. Bolas did nothing wrong. That's pretty good. Uh, so at the end of their turn, we'll try to throw the Gross Spiral. Um, I don't feel like it's going to stick, but if we can get a counter spell out of their hand, that's fine. Um, if our routes can stick, that's good, because if we can thin our deck, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so an Esper Control List, that is fine. Um, their removal definitely lines up pretty well um, with our deck. Okay, so we know they're going to name something. I think we just throw the gro Gross Spiral here because they are tapped out. I'm assuming they're either going to name the Gate Colossus or the Ram, seeing as how we have Guild Gates. Um, I do find it weird to have an Unnamored Ego in the main. This kind of feels like a best of one deck to me. Um, I do like the Unamored Ego. I just... I don't think it's worth a slot in the main. Personally. Uh, card is quite strong though. Okay. So the ADR Gate classes. I'm actually okay with that. I feel like there's... There's better things they could have potentially chomped down on. Um... They chose not to, so that's fine. That's fine. They left it on top, so clearly it was a land, because that's what they are in dire need of. The good thing is, though, we will hopefully have our mass manipulation live here soon. I do not play four. I only play three in the main. Um, card is good, but my current creature list is four great break, great or a gate breaker ram, uh, three of the colossus, two of the archway angel, and two hydro crisis. So first we're just going to attack here, um, because if we can play our guild summit and tap four of our cards to refill our hand up, I feel like that's where we want to be here. Uh, thank you Auto Tapper for uh, not just tapping my non-gate lands, I love you. And by I love you, I mean if there's a fire you should totally jump into it. Um, I still don't feel like there's a necessarily a correct set of creatures for this deck. Um, I do like the Archway Angels in the main. I do like the Hydro Crisis. I don't feel like the Crisis is necessarily a four of because it's just kind of a good card as compared to the Ram is three mana, super solid. Um, the Colossus is cute, um, but it's just that. It's just kind of cute. Um, the Archway Angels kind of what helps you versus red. I mean, you have the board wipes, but... You know, between the plaza and the archway, I feel like you just win. Um, the Hydrocrasis is good, but... So this is clearly like a best of one deck. Um, I will say that uh, if he beats us, I won't be mad. You know, you want to tech your deck out beyond belief, that's fine. We do have mass manipulation to steal stuff, which is cool. And their deck normally isn't known for uh, dealing a ton of damage. So being able to steal their Teferi if they have one 
or other stuff will be fine. Uh, I'm hoping they don't have another Unamored Ego though, because if they do then, um, I'm not really sure at that point what we really do. Uh, clearly we just try to swing away here. Hmm. Okay. We are going to discard our forest because A, we don't need upright lands anymore, and two, the gate technically gets us advantage. Uh, that's fine. I do oddly feel like this deck could potentially use some negates in the main, but I think that that's kind of getting... Like, this deck, game one, has to be very streamlined. Um, to be gate themed for sure. I will say though, it's kind of sucked to play a land and have it replace itself when you have a full mitt. Um, sure. So I will say for any new player watching, okay, strictly new players, having things like Unnam or Nego in your main is fine, but the problem is that's taking down potential win cons in your list. So this list could just be a try to troll you into boredom um, to kind of get like a free win, if you will. And while that's fine, if you can't win a game, it's really hard to play Magic. We are not going to tap any of our lands <laughs> at all here. We have a full mitt for now. We just pass turn. Uh, end of his turn, we will grow Spiral. Guild Gate to draw two lands. Um, the good thing here is we do have two explosions. So, like, but the sideboard is fine for sure. Um, I just think that, you know, you, you, you still have to be able to, like, actually win in your deck. And looking at this list so far, they've shown nothing to us that says they could probably remotely win at all. I mean, at the way things are going, there's a good chance we could lose this game because they did rip out all of our threats. Um, outside of, we have, I think, one more aim. No, we don't have any more angels. That's our last one. Yes. And we have our expansion explosions. And those are pretty much our only way to win right now. So... Potential mass manipulation to steal some of their stuff. But I don't feel like a 3-4 angel here is going to be super good. I mean, the good thing is, because I ate all of our creatures, they're only going to get back a 3-4 that gives them no value. Um, and really, we're okay with that. Okay, so we're going to try to throw our explosion here, because if this one sticks, we should hopefully find the other one in our deck as well. 
and then if we do that should be game now if they have the counter spell that's also fine because we do have to start whittling cards out of their hand right now um, and what they're going the, the triple unhammered ego may, may have just ended this game for us so we'll see here that's so dumb that's so not okay the thing that sucks here though is, is we do have a lot of dead cards in this matchup Well, I guess the good thing is here is we could potentially try to mass manipulate for one to steal that just so we do have a beater. Uh, at some point they will run out of cards in their hand. And seeing as how, how our guild gates are just like... Draw four. Um, okay, well they didn't have a counter spell there. Okay, so we're just gonna roll through the end phase here. One, two, Okay, so we have to wait one more turn here, and our only play is to go upright plaza, try to burn them for 17. If they have a counter spell, they do. Um, that could potentially be bad for us. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hurry! But we're gonna see. It's pretty much at this point, yeah, just explosion for game, or we lose, and we go to game two. Seeing as how the reactions have been pretty quick in terms of uh, them answering to our cards, I feel like they don't have it, so... Yep. Okay. So then, here we go to game three. Man, those unhammered egos buried us alive, I will not lie. Okay, so our lava coils suck. Take out one guild summit. Two gates ablaze. We'll go three negates. Ixalan's binding. Bane fire. Um. You know, our two mass manipulations here feel bad, so we will go Cinder Vines. That should be good enough. I feel like if we can hit a turn two Cinder Vine, we can probably just get him. Um, but yeah, those those unnumbered egos that game, they just they flat out won that game for him. Uh, that's what happens when you when, when you're very threat light. I bet that stupid Teferi drew him the counterspell too, which makes us sad. Real sad. I'm kind of hoping removing some of our burn spells won't be bad. Because being Esper, they could board into the things like the uh, Seraph Angel and a couple other ones, so like... Could have been bad, but we'll see. Play first. Okay. 
kind of a weird hand. But we will roll with it to see what we get. The gaining of life in this match is pretty irrelevant, but this way we do have double blue for our expansion, so if he does touch our hand we have a way to deal with it. Or if he fires a unhammered ego at us, uh, we will be ready for it. Um, we can copy that. Probably go Sinister Sabotage because we saw more of those in the Absorbs. We could potentially just rip up the fairies and just say yeah, good game there too. Um, so for now, we're going to try to throw our route, and we're going to see what happens. That's fine. I mean, I feel like in this game, we can't afford to sit because they're an actual control list. Okay, so, uh, seeing as how we hit Ego number one, I feel like our first deck loss tonight will be with Gates, which tells me that Gates is a terrible deck. Nobody should play it. It totally sucks. It dies to unhammered Egos, especially three of them. Um, it make them just means the deck's not good. Go play a real deck. Is it a challenge? No, I wouldn't say that's a challenge. Because um, clearly this deck is actually a super strong uh, budget list for sure IRL. Um, I will say, I think on Arena, like it's also an okay deck to make. But you do need a lot of rare wild cards. And I feel like if you're going to put your rares into something like this, I think you should just put it into a quote-unquote real deck. Um, you know. Okay, so this time we took our guild summits, which is fine. So now he knows what's in our hand, so we can't get too cute with the expansion. Um, and that's okay. He also knows we have a Bane Fire though, which is good too. I probably should have dropped the Ram and got crazy with it, but... Okay, so the good thing is he'll have its a fairy next turn. We can quickly shut it down with the Ixalan's Binding. Okay, so he's pretty much just just Esper try to make you feel bad, which is fine. Um, but I think decks like this, uh, and no offense to Ace Awesome, but they kind of make you look like a burn player in the fact that just like. You look like you have no integrity. Well, if I just read their deck and they can't play a game, right? Like, I should just win. Um, it really doesn't take much skill to do stuff like that. But the good thing here is, so far it's the only deck we got a loss with tonight, so it sucks. Um, the good thing is, though, is if they jam their Teferi... We can Ixlon's Binding. They won't have any more Teferis. They will have a Vraska's Contempt, and that's fine. Um, the Enamored Ego, our Expansions, and our Guild Summits. The good thing is we still have a Bane Fire. Hopefully they can't rip that out of our hand. Um, so that tells me they do have the Counter Spell right in their hand. Um, maybe not. So it looks like this game we're seriously 100% all in on Banefire. We're going to try to throw the Angel first because if they do have a counter spell, I'm sure they'll blow it on that. Okay, so that was a pretty fast response, so I feel like the Hydrocrasis next turn will stick. 
We'll throw the Krasis for five. Uh, any chip damage we can get in right now is huge because we do have the Bane Fire. So that makes every damage that much more spookier. So for now, we're just going to go to attack here. Okay, so we're going to throw the Ram. I'm hoping they don't rip their other unhammered ego. And like, in all seriousness, uh, we only lost game one of this game because they seriously had three unhammered egos. And like, that's that's all really annoying for a lot of decks here. Okay, so we're just gonna throw our crazes for five. Uh, if they have counter spell, they do. Um, either way, we're still getting some cards off our deck. That's fine. We absolutely have to start getting our lands going here so our Banefire has value. You know what? I'm not done yet. No. I'm pretty sure this game's just done now. I mean, he could go to Fairy Tuck here, to Fairy Tuck here, and I respect if he does. Um, we need to move quickly. But we still have a negate in our hand, which is strong. They could have a board wipe, which would suck here. And they say they don't. Okay. Bigger things to fight over, so we will let that go for now. So right now we potentially have him dead in one turn, um, because we swing both. Bane fire. Our bane fire is still coming in for seven. We also have a negate, which is huge. Um, we will absolutely negate that. Okay, so they were dead next turn. Hmm. We definitely want Carnage Tyrant in. And I guess we'll throw back in one one mass manipulation to steal the Teferi. Now that we see they actually have some cards in their list that are relevant. Uh... As much as I don't want to leave in the Angels, I feel like we have to just because they, they have the biggest butt. So this might be the first game of the night we lose. We'll see what happens here. Mulligan that because it was a seven lander. I love this hand. If we can actually jam a turn two Cinder Vines, I feel like that would be monstrous for us. We're going to try it. Thank you. Even though Rachel says I have a very pancake, but so you might be lying. Maybe I got the biggest pancakes. I don't know. All right, so Cinder Vines here. <laughs> Come on, Cinder Vines. Do your jab. 
it is quite firm. It is quite firm. And thank you, Ace Awesome. I knew you cared. Okay, so now I think he's stunned by the Cinder Vines. We drop the Cinder Vines, and all of a sudden, nothing's happening. I think he's like, what? Or maybe they got disconnected? We'll see. Okay, so they, they actually have disconnected right now. We're just gonna play our dinky ram. Um... So their hand's not lighting up, their deck's not lighting up. I really think our opponent disconnected. So we might get a win here via disconnection, which means the undefeated streak for the Knight stays alive. I really wish I had a blue land right now though. Um, that would be so good for the Grow Spiral. We'd have negate, we'd have killed some. Like, our hand would be so much better. Um, you know, against a deck like this, I honestly wouldn't feel bad if they disconnected. Uh, triple on Amber Ego kind of threw us on tilt game one. So, uh, I wouldn't feel too bad. But clearly, that's not the way you want to win a game on stream. I mean, there's nothing going on. It's just me sitting here with my toast row pillow behind me talking into a camera. Uh, it's not quite as exciting as most people would like, I'm sure. But I don't see anything on their side of the board lighting up. I think they disconnected. Okay. So we're still undefeated on the night. I think we are now 8-0 on the evening. Or 